Hello everyone. Thank you so much for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Northern Canada. Today's reading is an interesting one. And I, I pulled the book to glean as much from it as I could because it is a new deck and there are added meanings to it. Really fascinating. To start with, we have the High Priestess. She's putting acacia flowers into her cauldron. And directing the energy of the moon through her wand into the water to consecrate it. And this will become holy water for the village. They, they go to her for uh, healing remedies, spiritual help emotional help, guidance. And it seems to me that in relation to you, you're going through a cleansing period. The Four of Athens is about rest, relaxation, taking a break, but you're still guarded as you should be. We should always not always let our our guide or our guards down. But he's peace he's peaceful, reflecting. So this is your overall energy. You've taken a step back, relaxing. It's like uh, calling a truce for peace, consecrating, consecrating yourself. Now, the Lord and the Lady, first thought would be about the lovers, but when I was reading up on this, it is about God and Goddess powers. It denotes having to make a decision about a partner. She wears a circlet with the horned moon. And he wears on his crown the sun, or on his forehead, pardon me, his circlet is the sun. You see that going? These are their loyal companions. On her arm is, uh, her upper arm is a bracelet of a snake for wisdom. And his left arm is the snake up into his upper arm there is the snake eating its tail, showing the cycle of life. And they're under the tree, the oak tree, for strength, purpose, wisdom. They both have the tools. Like she carries the spears, he carries the bows. But what it means is about making a decision about a partner. And especially in this reading, guys, because the very next card is about victory in truth and strength. You're going to have a victory. The dandelions denote strength, which is not surprising. If you ever tried to get rid of dandelions, you know that's near impossible. The mouse is all about organizing, intelligence, problem solving. But you're coming into a period of victory. The witch. Now, you'll know, notice on both the high priestess and the witch, they wear this belt. And on this belt, it's three colors, red, white, and black. They're knotted for their experience. Each knot was a, a milestone in their lives or in their learning. The witch is putting in ginger root for success, happiness. She has a circle of salt around her for protection. She has her tools. 
she works with integrity. I think that's what sticks out the most for me in this card is that she works with integrity. There's no animosity in her, no negativity. She's just working towards doing the right thing. This came up as a warning that someone might be taking advantage of your empathy. You're there for them when they need you, emotionally, possibly physically. And then you're left wondering what happened when the storm passes or they've been sati satiated. Uh, you're left wondering what happened because they're gone again. That's what this card is in this deck. There is psychic connection. But you're in a place right now in reflection, in your working on yourself and working with it, uh, integrity. You've come to a moment in your life that you are looking at your strengths and your weaknesses. And you're <clears throat> You're turning your weaknesses into strength. And you will succeed. But this really stuck out to me, guys, about being taken advantage of. You were taken advantage of. Let's just get it out there. And you're aware that you were taken advantage of. But, you know, through all of this, God bless you, you've maintained some composure or self-respect. This is about success and not a beginning, but a realization of what you are coming into. If this is commercial that you're going into, it's going to be huge in its success. Huge. The sheep, they denote abundance. The hues of green for success. This isn't This isn't the beginning. It's an actual realization of that abundance, the capability of that abundance, and you're working already towards it. It's going to be a huge success, and you're starting to realize that. Where you were up here taking a break by the break by the river's edge. Oh, gee, I can't talk today. We have a loon here singing to you. Peace, calm, tranquility. This card is about leaving difficulties behind. There may be a loss, but it's going to be a smooth transition. A smooth transition. You're coming into a calmer time in your life. <clears throat> this is going to bring... This could be a reunion or a marriage, but it brings people together in celebration of accomplishments. The flowers, those asters underneath the table are all about abundance, happiness, contentedness. I keep using that word contentedness. I'm not sure that's a word. How about just content? There's a, a cicada on the table, which denotes abundance. A job well done. A job well done. It's almost like you can breathe a sigh of relief. Okay, we're coming into a period 
where you see there's I forget his name some porn god has come in and this tower that you built up to protect yourself well that's getting rotten got rid of there's enlightenment you're you're becoming enlightened about something a, a change in the way you think it is about a sudden event perhaps a shocking one but coming out of this is for your highest good this knight of pentacles has a workhorse this knight of pentacles has their earnings on their hip they also know they're going to make money they're moving forward in their this reading is a lot about money but they're moving forward in knowing that they can rent their horse out and make more money they're moving this is a card to tell you that what you're moving towards business wise whether it's a promotion a new job entrepreneurship is that it's going to be successful you will be methodical meticulous and it will be successful this will be for the purpose of clearing the way for this and this and this and victory and the last card guys is ultimate happiness being content not only that you're being recognized for your efforts you will be recognized for your efforts put these back in the order that they came in so as a final wrap up here before I take it over to the website for the extended <clears throat> this rest period it, it's it's almost like you're not resting you're working on spiritual self that is going to move you to calmer waters you have to make a choice about someone a partner whether it's in business or love whatever that is you will be victorious because you acted with integrity you acted with integrity a realization that you were taken advantage of see this queen is also about compassion empathy giving nurturing someone took advantage of that and as these are bookends this is a hard decision for you but ultimately you're going to know the right thing to do and the transition will be smooth you will have a, a feeling of a sense of loss of something but it will be a smooth transition there is a enlightenment through this tower moment this card this card this card this card this card this all of these cards all of them are telling you that this tower moment is one you should look forward to it's gonna clear the way clear the path it is going to be so wide open for you that you can hit the ground running literally if you're falling out of this tower you're going to hit the ground running yeah i give 25 dollars readings you can ask as many questions as you want i'll answer as many as i can in a 15 to 20 minute time period all that information is in the description box if you want to get the extended on this i'd like to find out who these two are what the choice might be is going to be and i'll explore that over at the website so join me over at thejourneyhome.ca and you have access to all of the extended readings for all of the zodiacs 
It's $4.99 a month. So have a look. See you over there, guys. God bless, and I'll probably talk to you tomorrow. Have a wonderful afternoon. Bye for now.